Yo, what's going on, guys? DJS here bringing you guys this week's Collective Kicks weekly recap. It is Friday the 18th of April, and there is a lot of big sneaker news this week. Uh, we're going to dive in. I'm going to focus a little bit more on a couple different articles, I'm sure, uh, but let's uh, let's go ahead and jump in. Again, if you guys haven't seen the updates to the site, popular posts on the right, and there's just random uh, scrollovers on the top if you guys want to uh, check out those articles. But as we go here, let's check these out. Um, recent shoe news. The... Uh, the Nike Six or Nike Kitty Six Elite um, EYBL uh, get a first look. It is an elite version, and if you didn't know what that stands for, it's the Elite Youth Basketball League. Um, kind of a popular logo if you guys remember some of the Kitty Fours and stuff like that. But these ones look pretty sick, and and it's a fitting shoe considering it's elite uh, model for like the Elite Youth Basketball League. So kind of cool. Definitely a, a really vibrant colorway. And a vibrant sock liner and so on. I'm excited to see more pictures of those uh, coming out in the future. Um, we have s some images of the the Air Jordan 6, uh, which is now known as the World Cup. Um, and it is black and yellow and green. And they look pretty crazy. W rumor is there's only 2,000 or something going to be made. So it's going to be quite limited. Um, not sure if it's colorway that you guys are interested in or not. For me personally, it's still a little bit weird. Yellow and the green together. But... Uh, that, uh, that suede or nubuck or whatever in between the leather looks pretty solid. So uh, looks like an interesting sneaker. I'm sure we'll get a lot of hype uh, for those ones to come if we uh, and when, I guess, we hear anything about a release date. This is probably the biggest news um, this week, though. Um, police bust uh, a Nike sample buyer and seller ring of people that were stealing Nike um, sneakers uh, known as look-sees. Um, and basically, these, these dudes got busted. Uh, one of them was a, a former Nike employee, and ironically, he owned the glassware. And I'll just click on this article, actually, so you guys can see more of the article. Uh, this is a big article that I actually wrote on here. Um, so if you guys want to check this one out, it's definitely worth um, reading. It is going to be in the um, description if you guys want to see um, a link to the website. It's uh, definitely worth reading all this stuff. But this is t you're talking about hundreds of thousands of dollars that were laundered through um, employees stealing like rare Nike PEs and, and um, like one-off sort of look-see samples. Like, so a look-see is, is basically a sample that, that hasn't hit production. And in some, most cases they don't because they're like, they have like four or five different variations of a, uh, a certain colorway. So certain shoes might have a couple different versions of them. So if you have the most limited of those sneakers, like let's say the Fruity Peb Pebble LeBron fours, and then you have a Luxy sample version, which has a totally different like casing on the on the sole or, or whatever it might be. They're just different, and they're usually uh, way 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 um, uh, more desirable. And that reason, the uh, I guess one of the managers of, of the area Nike um, basically was getting all of these and uh, selling them to another person and making a huge profit off of them. And the reason why they ended up getting caught, it sounds like, is because of the IRS. Uh, they laundered over $221,000 in eight months um, through bank accounts and whatnot, and it just drew a lot of red flags. Federal investigation went down, and uh, actually the current employee, um, who's Tung Ho, basically got his house raided by the cops. Uh, just about 2,000 pairs of sneakers were, so, um, as you can see right here, seized, uh, and a lot of cash. So there's there's a lot of information on this. If you guys want to check out this article, um, and then check out the links in the bottom to and then here's an idea of some of the looksies um, that were um, available that that he had personally or some of these people had in their collection. But check out the sources and you can see more uh, of the original articles. But really crazy news. It makes you kind of curious what's going to happen with that whole market because nowadays on Instagram everybody's flexing their early releases and their limited promos and stuff like that. But uh, those guys like. They, they were arrested. I believe all three of them were arrested at some point. Um, some of them have been released. They've definitely, the guy that was working at Nike, from what I hear, is, was definitely fired. Even though the articles couldn't confirm it. Um, but I hear he was fired. And I'm sure that this is just the beginning of this investigation. So it seems like this is going to be a, kind of a, a big deal. Uh, but it lets me kind of wonder where things are going to go from, from this point forward. Um, anyway, if that's news to you guys, check out that article for sure. It's just so much uh, to cover. I could cover that just that article over like a 15-minute video. Just there's so much to, to talk about. Um, and ironically, it's the same owner that owned the company called Look Slash C, which is the, the eyewear company. 
Um, that's, uh, you usually saw probably posts on Instagram and stuff, stuff like that. Really crazy, dude. There's a lot of irony there to that. Anyway, uh, moving on Tabor by compound is a clothing, uh, company that's a streetwear company that is kind of an off branch from the compound, but it's made locally in Portland and they actually have a, um, a launch party tonight, uh, at the compound. And I'm actually going to be DJing that event. So if you guys are in the Portland area, you guys uh, are into any sort of streetwear at all, uh, definitely worth uh, stopping by. As you can see right there, Jacob, or um, Always Fresh Apparel, is modeling the, the clothes. I'm assuming he'll be there. I haven't talked to him yet um, to, to see, but I'm definitely going to be down there um, just spinning from 7 to 9 for anybody local. Um, anyway, moving on. Uh, two of my writers, the, the G Money and Kicks uh, 808, did two similar articles and uh, their viewpoints on each of them. And if you guys want to see these ones, feel free. I might do my own video on it next week if I get time. It's tough because I'm moving next week, but we'll see what happens. Uh, regarding these articles, and the uh, one of them, um, the, the G-Money said basically why he thinks that the SB Dunk is better than the Jordan one. And the Kicks 808 says why the Jordan one is better than um, the Nike SB Dunk High. So kind of a cool uh, comparison like article that they ended up writing um, kind of uh, against each other, but it's kind of fun seeing uh, different st sides of the reasons why um, you would want one or the other. So if you want to check out those articles before I uh, covered in a video, feel free. These ones drew my attention. Shout out to Kicks Reason for writing this article because I'm not a Reebok fan usually, but I have been like keeping my eye on these Insta Pump Furies, waiting for like a dope colorway to come out that I really was behind, and this is one of them that I this could be it. I don't know. But a Gundam pack, dude, like really, that's just badass. Now, I personally wasn't super duper into Gundams, but my brother was. Um, and so, like, this would be a dope, like, shoe to get for him if, if uh, well, he's not a sneakerhead, though. But but it would be a cool shoe that I think he would, he would think, he, he would go, whoa, those are pretty rad. Um, very cool article, though, and thanks for writing that. The other big news for the week, the, the Air Jordan 29 uh, was a officially unveiled and I did do a video already covering my thoughts my first impressions of the Jordan 29 since then we obviously know that the price point is going to be 225 also um, as I was saying in, in the video I think that you guys were just getting a look at the at the shoe and just getting a bad idea of what the shoe was some people said that looked cheap and whatnot but you got to remember again it's just one it's one material um, that they're they're making this thing with um, Nightwing and Cousteau have a ton of information on this since they were at the event, and I recommend checking out their channels uh, for, for more detailed information and uh, detailed videos even of the sneakers already. They look amazing, I think. I think that it's definitely revolutionary, and it's funny CP, seeing CP, I like how I said that, CP, I don't even know what that even means, but it's funny seeing people complain about the price point of the 225 on the Jordan 29, but they're okay with paying 2 225 uh, with a with a Kobe nine, or yeah, Kobe nine. But the thing is, is it's like it's kind of the same technology. The only difference is this engineering on the the Jordan twenty nine. It seems it's like even newer than that of the Flyknit on the Kobe uh, nine. So I don't know. It's just something to consider as we get closer. As you guys try them on, and, and as you see them in stores or whatever, I'm sure the hype will grow. Uh, when we start to see these uh, release in September, but I'm definitely excited. The two uh, the two colorways look dope to me. Obviously, my favorite colors um, for my sports teams locally, so definitely a plus for that. Uh, moving on, again, more detailed first look information on that. Um, I don't even know how to say this. Uh, Pigale, I believe, and, and Nike Air Force One collection release information. Uh, I don't know much about this. If you want to check out the article, there's tons of information about it. But those uh, Air Force Ones look pretty crazy. It's interesting seeing how many Air Force One collaborations are, are continuing to be made, though. And I think that the younger sneakerhead, for sure, feels like the Air Force Ones are dead. Uh, I, I'm still kind of like, I don't, I don't know what is going to happen to the Air Force One because there's so many different collaborations that happen on a regular basis. Some good, some bad. Um, some indifferent and, and so, but it's interesting and kind of cool to see that they're coming up with new ones. Those ones that are hanging from that, um, concrete, like, like, like hoop or whatever that is look pretty dope. Um, moving on, we get some images of some sample, uh, LeBron, what the KD or what the KD I'm, I'm so off right now. It's ridiculous. Some LeBron 11s and these, uh, samples look pretty legit. Uh, I'm curious. I've heard rumors that these are going to be the 2K14s. I don't see how that's possible because Nike already tweeted it out. Um, on the, uh, they were the first ones to actually show us what they look like, 
and there is already a set release date. So the 2K14s is only limited to 2014 pairs from what they said. So I don't know what they're going to do, but I'm still awaiting my, my 2K14s. It should be um, coming up next month. So um, hold tight, I guess, and we'll see what happens. Drake shows us some of his Jordans. Uh, he had quite a few Jordan 13s here. He had a couple different uh, limited sneakers that you guys will see in, in that image. If You can barely see it, but there's some, some Oregon 4s and 5s in that one. Um, kind of interesting. You know he has a lot more sneakers than that, though. Um, some more speed art, if you want to check this out. It's pretty dope. Uh, it's the Yeezy Foam Posit Pro by Max Lund. Uh, really, really talented uh, young dude um, doing a lot of stuff. And if you want to check out his channel, uh, go sub over there because it's definitely worth uh, watching. He he definitely, I think he's going to do like at least one drawing a week. And he does some really, really crazy work. Uh, right underneath that, you can see the actual image of the Yeezy. Um, and, and this is a, a video I did just to tell you guys how to get the Foam Posits under retail. Uh, basically by using Ebates. And I already did the Ebates video. Uh, I linked the, the Ebates video in there if you guys haven't done it yet. But check it out. Definitely do it if you haven't signed up yet. Worth signing up, worth using it, and you'll get your money back um, really, really – or you'll get money back. You'll get money back from purchases online really, really fast, especially from Nike Store. Um, and it's uh, definitely a really solid way to, to go. It uh, looks like the uh, the Reebok um, Omnilite and uh, Court Victory stashes are available now. Uh, from Kicks Reason, uh, and I did this one on Undefeated and Adidas, and these ones are pretty crazy. Like I, these ones are available now. Actually, uh, I saw some on um, I can't even remember, Concepts. I think had them on online. They're expensive. They're two hundred and something dollars. But check those out if you want. There's two different models uh, in that collaboration. They're kind of crazy. Get a first look at the Sprite Nike uh, LeBron Eleven Low, uh, which looked really solid in my opinion. One of the better co uh, colorways of the lows. Um, and then we get an, also the announcement for the next Air Jordan Nike SB. That was the other huge news this week uh, with the paint that scuffs off and reveals the sneakers underneath. Uh, really, really crazy idea. And there's some video uh, footage of that in, in that article if you want to check that out. Some more Adidas information here. Mutombo 2s are going to be happening. And uh, key um, equipment. Actually, I saw those at the uh, the employee store when I went. The Adidas equip, equipment key trainers. Um, I didn't know what those were. I thought they were something else, but uh, those look pretty interesting, actually. Uh, more information on some Sean Kemp Mixed Models Part 1, um, which is Kicks Region's like, Monday series that he does every week. Uh, we saw the te teaser for the Taylor for Flight. I'm curious because in the teaser, it says basically that it's just in time for playoffs. So are, are, is um, Russell Westbrook going to be wearing the 29s on, on court? Um, I guess we'll see during the, the playoffs, even though they're not going to be available for, uh, until September. But interesting, interesting move there. Um, Adidas re um, renewed Damian Lillard's contract, and it sounds like there's a really, really, really big sneaker deal involved with that, uh, which means we can definitely guarantee that a signature modeled uh, Damian Lillard sneaker is on the way, which makes sense. You have the big three then at this point, John Wall, Lillard, and um, D. Rose. So I think it's smart to do something like that. Uh, the end and uh, Saucony Shadow 500, 5000, excuse me, burger sneaker preview. These things look crazy. I want to see more, though. You can see it definitely emulates a burger. And uh, from what I remember seeing, um, uh, T. Blake tweeted out saying that the box is really dope for that as well. So really excited to hear more about that um, as we uh, as we wait it out. Huge restocks happening um, this weekend, but it is it's going to be happening on Saturday on East Bay, but and like Foot Locker and Champs, I believe there's all of them. I think are going to be restocking stuff, but rumor has it that they're only going to be like larger sizes, like 15 and and bigger. So just a heads up on that, kind of kind of weird, but um, but good for those people that have really really big feet, I guess. Um, uh, Bodega uh, Insta Pump Furies. These ones seem to get a lot of attention this week as well. If you guys want to check out that article, Air Jordan One High uh, OG Jim Red and um, Way or the the Lightning Way of Way Two Encore, um, get a first look at those ones as well. And let's see, I think there's just a little bit more news here. UConn women's um, basketball coach um, Kobe Nines done by uh, Mosh. And then we got the last weekend's releases for you guys. Fortunately, that's a little bit too late now because it's last weekend, and that included the A6 pack there. And the detailed pictures of the Jordan um, Championship Pack. And also, these ones dropped today, these Packers A6 Gels. If you guys are interested in those, uh, those dropped today. Worth going and checking that out. 
Uh, this one was one of the coolest things I've seen in the week, and it's a Black Sheep Nike SB Custom Boom Box. Like, the box lid is a boom box. It's just a dope-looking box. I don't even know what the shoes look like, but if the box looks like that, I'm, I have really high hopes uh, for the sneakers. The uh, li Lightning Way Away 2s had the, a U.S. release of the Code Reds. I believe they're still available on the, the their website, so if you're interested in them, check them out. And then we see the Nike Free 4.0 Flyknit uh, with the multicolor on it, which actually looks pretty dope as well, uh, written by Brandon. Uh, so anyway, that's kind of the sneaker news. I have not updated. Look at those. Are those potatoes? What is that? Um, <laughs> nice sponsor ad there. Uh, I haven't updated the release dates much. Um, I've been trying to wait for this damn site to get updated um, better. But uh, but it's a slow process, and we are going to be migrating to another server um, because the time the load times from my end is really, really slow uh, as we upload content. So it's prevented me from uploading numerous times, so look out for that in the future. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Uh, have a good rest of the weekend, and I will be having like like a bunch of, of videos coming up. So I'm, I'm moving next week, but I will have some uh, videos planned. I'll definitely maybe show you guys um, the new house and stuff like that. Uh, once we get things kind of situated and and uh, yeah, hopefully uh, you have a good weekend though. We'll catch you guys later. Peace.